Okay, this is a replication of uh, Simple Fix 2969's uh, microamp pulse motor, uh, his latest one, um, where he's using the, uh, the solar panel and the uh, battery out of a solar keychain light. And he's uh, what he's done is he's got that thing wired up in such a way that uh, you can get the LEDs to blink on the circuit as it discharges uh, the, the flyback and then uh, on his he's got a neat little box and everything but I'll show you what the key to this thing is that I really like is you have a way to look at the power source with this to see what you've got in the way of a charge on your battery. Now I replaced the battery with a supercapacitor for this because the batteries I've got, I've got are all dead. The batteries that came with the keychain lights didn't last and they're old and they're, they're lithium rechargeables but for some reason they died. They're real old so I just put a super cap on there to show you the dynamic of what's going on but it's that uh, coil out of a microwave uh, turntable motor with a two transistor circuit but he's modified it and this is the circuit and I'm just gonna hold this here for a second so you can look at it and you can see he's got he's got this uh, wired uh, quite a bit different than what we've been doing he's got a capacitor in there and he's got um, things moved around a bit um, now the modifications I did to his circuit was I put a super capacitor on it I changed the uh, capacitor on the uh, transistors to uh, that value and then I have a 4k resistor and then my coil is less ohms than his coil his coil is 15k but um, this is a simple fix 2969 replication that he posted yesterday and uh, he's calling it uh, uh, the lid motor high resistance microamp pulse motor um, the uh, LEDs are in parallel with the uh, battery or supercapacitor and then their uh, solar panel has a diode on it so that you don't uh, drain the uh, battery or the supercapacitor at night but you can see this uh, in the dark much better but these LEDs blink to show you that it's firing and then you've got a button uh, he's mounted another button on his box but I'll just show you the that's an advantage to be able to see what's in that storage container be it a super capacitor or a battery and uh, it's kinda like a voltmeter if you click that on you can if it's dim it's low if it's bright it's up and plus the speed of the rotor of course but anyway really a nifty uh, project and he's got his all in a box it's all boxed up and it's a much better rig this is a prototype rig here to give you an idea of, of um, the dynamic of it it's a solar panel with a blocking diode that charges up either a uh, lithium ion uh, rechargeable button cell or a super capacitor LEDs that are in parallel but they're wired in such a way that they're picking up the flyback when the coil field collapses and uh, here again I'll show you the circuit diagram and this is uh, simple fixes uh, circuit and then those are the modifications that I've done to it just for my particular setup uh, everybody's setup is different so you have to play around with it but Anyway, I just wanted to post that and show you that I do did do a replication of his circuit. It does work. It's really pretty darn neat. Uh, mine's drawn about 10 microamps. Thanks for watching.